Uh, Skinner Outdoors here. Uh, don't ask me why, but I decided at 5 o'clock, way after the sun went down here in Illinois, that uh, I was going to try and do a little uh, after dark river magnet fishing in the Mississippi River. Um, the boat docks have long been gone, so I'll just be standing on the boat ramp. Hopefully I stay on dry ground. Um, it's raining, so we'll see what happens. Maybe a short video, may not even get posted. We'll see you out there. Oh man, I'm not sure why I chose to come out after dark winter. I'm pretty sure that the uh, uh, truck said 50 some degrees, which I know that's not accurate because I just pulled out of the garage. Um, Maybe a quick video, but uh, we'll see what we can find. It may not, nothing may show up. This is in the truck cab, obviously. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I find something worthwhile. See how this, I got this new chest strap that I'm using now. I got it on Amazon. It may or may not be worth it. Uh, we'll see how it performs. If it does really well, I'll give them a shout out in the description. See what we can do. Kind of spooky. See what we can do. I said that like five times now. something probably just the edge of the boat boat ramp yeah it's nice not oh, I should take the time to get that out I'll never get it out in the future Let's see if I got anything nothing not even a fishing hook Eh, I can go with buy more rope. I'll get the knot out later. <sighs> I know you guys can't see it, but there are islands out there. I'd like to do it camping video out on one of those islands. I need to find out who owns those. Definitely not what I would consider um, pleasant outside. Hmm. Some 
garbage. Move over a little bit. It's actually pretty clear. I'm sure you can't tell that on the camera, but it would be nice if I could find a pocket knife or something that one of the boaters dropped off the ramps. Oh, is it a leaf? Oh, well, I didn't get skunked. The sheet metal screw flat tire on somebody's boat. I guess one good thing about having the knot is that it gives you a frame of reference as to how far in I've got before I get to the magnet. That's kind of nice. Still nothing. There's something on there. Oh, well, lots of somethings on there. Man, somebody must have. It's got to be coming from a duck blind or something. Try that same area. Maybe somebody lost a duck call or something. Not that they're made of metal, but maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know that hunter. Despite the beard. I'd like to find one good thing for you guys, other than screws. It's not exciting. At all. Oh, that's lovely. Well, you guys can listen to the train at least. It's super awesome. Really love that living here in town. Oh, that's a strike against this chest strap. Can't seem to get the tightener screw tight enough to keep my phone from swiveling. And I have to put it in there not quite centered because the uh, um, buttons on my phone will get smushed in the clamp. Turn around so you guys can see the train go by. Maybe the most exciting thing about this video about 500 times a day.
Back to what we're doing. <laughs> this may be a waste of time. Try not to lose focus and uh, keep getting further and further out so I get my toes wet. Although these marrows are supposed to be waterproof. I'd rather not test that out. Sorry for the sniffling. That's the price you pay for being out here in the cold. Or at least that's the price I pay. gather the rope up in my hand and scooch on down. I think people favor this other side of the boat ramp anyway, so maybe we'll give that a go. Big fat nuncus. Oh, and that was just like a Rooney right there. We don't uh, we don't want to go into the river. Bye bye, Caleb. Despite my best efforts, I'm still trying to get my foot wet in that crack full of water right there. Ugh. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of rocks and logs on this side that I just threw that. Mississippi really loves their screws and metal shards and nails. Don't go barefoot in the river, kids. We'll cut you. back in the truck maybe I'll look at the thermometer and see what it says. We'll say being cold out the river seems a little more clear but then again they don't call it the muddy Mississippi for nothing. Oh, there's something on there. Nope never mind. I like it's just the buckle it's twisted over on itself and a sweet piece of wire. Some more nails. Rusty fragments. Good thing I've had my tetanus shot within the last 60 years. Or five, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yet another train. Tell I'm getting a little bored when I start making noises.
garbage. Try not to throw it too hard because I also don't want to, uh, you know, throw my phone. Pull this in one more time. I'll move clear on the other side of these ramps. A little, little checky poop. So with the rope being wet, I learned one valuable lesson. You can't throw it very far, which is upsetting. Nothing. All right, let's go down here. <sighs> it's probably more of an aggressive grunt than it needed to be. Give her a couple casts here, otherwise my fingers are getting cold. I did put on rubber gloves underneath my magnet fishing gloves, but you know, evaporation, 30 some degrees, they're still cold. This is it. I can feel it. It's probably going to be nothing on here, but that's what I'm doing for the night. Not a pocket knife, but keep somebody's boat from getting a flat tire. All right, well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. All right, well, I made it back to the truck. Um, sorry, a little bit of a bust for you guys, but. Uh, I still had fun. Hopefully you did too. See you on the next one.